Hey, if you ever wanted to do a layout like this where you basically have loads of posts, and by the way, post one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is an image. It could be a quote box, it could be text, it could be a headline, it could be a product, it could be anything you want. But this is a standalone image that's inserted in here. And by the way, we're not using CSS Grid. We're using Flexbox Container. And I want to show you how to build it because maybe some of you don't want to use Grid just yet. So how do we build it? It's really simple and easy and it opens up opportunities for you in terms of layout. We first need to create a loop grid and then we're going to duplicate it. And believe me, it is very, very simple and it's not going to take a lot of effort. So I'm just going to go over here and type in loop. By the way, you probably would have hit the plus sign and added in your container. I'm just dropping one in because it will automatically give us the container as well. I'm just going to give this container a little bit of padding at the top just so it's not bang up against the top like what we have at the moment there. Okay, anyway, we're going to go into the loop grid and I'm going to hit create template, hit save, and then you get to create your template within the elemental loop grid. Very similar to if you're using bricks as well, you're gonna go in and create your template. Now I'm not gonna do anything fantastical here, I'm just gonna drop in a featured image and we might as well just drop in the post title as well like that. Um, I'm gonna go to the link, dynamic link, go to post URL. I've gone and added in the post data as well. And of course, before you move on, always check to how it's gonna look on the mobile. Maybe we'll add in a bit more or padding over there, something like that. I'm keeping it really, really simple here. Then once we've done that, we're just gonna hit save and back. You will notice by the size of my post, the orientation ain't right here. So I'm gonna very quickly edit my template. And here's a quick tip. If you are bringing over featured images and you have a difference with like horizontal and vertical or portrait images, my big tip is that when you do add in your image, make sure the resolution is obviously set to full, go to size. And what you wanna do is define your height. Let's just go with something, let's just go with 200, okay, for now. Go and set it to be a cover and then define, decide on is it gonna be a top center like that. You can see what's happening to the face. Where are you gonna be with a center center? So define on what kind of style you're going for. We'll just go with that for now. Now the idea is, is that is we're gonna have an image over here which is nothing to do with the post and you'll have your first post, your second post and then the third post will start here. Now, some people have said, well, why don't you just create an alternate template? Well, no, because then you see you're gonna apply another template over here, but it is still gonna be pulling the post. I want the third post to start here. I don't want to apply a different template. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to just duplicate everything we got here. So I've got a complete duplicate. I'm then gonna to go to the first one and I'm now gonna modify it. And I'm gonna say only give me two items per page like that. So now you can see there's our first and second. And yes, I know we've got a duplicate, but don't worry about that. We do have we do have this big space over here. I'm then gonna change this to be two columns as well. Now, as soon as you do that, this is what happens. We now just have to adjust it. And this is where you need to have had a bit of thought about your layout. So let me go to my parent container. I'm gonna say that this is a 1,100 in width, okay? And that, and that applies it for this and it applies it for the second one down here as well. I'm also going to ensure that the gap between the elements is zero as well. This is quite important. I'm then gonna set the direction of all of my items items to be a row. Now, as soon as I do that, this happens, but believe me, you don't have to worry about this. I'm then gonna set it to be a row, and uh, sorry, a wrap, and we're back to where we were. The reason why I've done that is because I'm gonna add in an image over here. It could be a text box, it could be a quote box, it could be um, a shop product item, it could be anything you want. I'm now gonna go to the top loop grid, click into it, go to the advanced tab, set the width to be custom, and I'm gonna pop it to be 66%. I think that's actually right. Yeah, there we go, 66%. If you go for 66.6, .6, you can see it's not exactly spot on. So you might just need to manipulate it a little bit. It always helps when you have a controlled width. You know, if you just allow it to be a full width or whatever, it starts to mess up quite a lot. But anyway, there are our our first loop grid and our second. Don't worry about the items in here for a moment, okay? Um, in fact, no, let's change it now. First one, second one. Now we go over here. I want this to start from number three. Well, what you then do is go to the query, go to the exclude tab, and where it says offset, because we now already showed the first two over here, we're gonna put number two. If you're unsure, just try it out, and you can see the third one is now visible. If I had put in one, it would have ignored the first one and started at number two. So you can see here by putting in two, we now go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look, they all start to continue. Yeah, and, and 
for anyone that goes, look, you got a duplicate. No, it's just a duplicate image, okay? The text is completely different down there. That's how simple and easy it was. Now I've got a space over here. Well, I can do what I want. I'm just going to go and drop in an image. The image instantly kind of is expanded out, so it kind of messes up the layout. But don't worry about that. Let's just set it to full. We'll go for an image that's completely unrelated, but that doesn't matter. We're going to go to the style. I'm going to set the height to be 200. Make sure it is set on cover. And I'm going to go with a center center for now. Don't worry about the way it looks because we haven't set the width or anything yet. I'm then going to go back to the advanced tab, go to custom width. And I'm now going to set the width of this. And you can pretty much go for 33%. And after adjusting the top and left margin, the 33% now kicks in. And basically, there I go. That's now done. And I'm now just going to give a bit of top margin down here as well, just to make everything look the same. I'm just going to go with 20 for now. Yes, you can do this with CSS grid. Of course you can. But for anyone who's not doesn't want to use the grid and they just want to use Flexbox container, this is really simple and easy to do as well. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.